These days, being ranked among the top technical institutions comes with great dedication and attention to detail in all aspects of a college, especially when the competition among colleges in a hub of a city like Hyderabad is immense. Let's break down one of the well-known institutions from this city. Welcome to College Suggest and in this video, we are reviewing the Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications about your favorite colleges, college comparisons, courses, careers and much more. As always, we only consider the facts that are submitted by the college to the NIRF for the 2019 ranking. We we'll leave the link in the description below. The Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University was established in 1972 by the legislature of the state of Andhra Pradesh as the first technological university in the country. It has been at the forefront for the past 47 years in providing quality technological education. Since its establishment, it strives to offer the best technical education in India with its innovative curriculum. The institution is accredited by the NAAC with an A grade. Now, let's take a look at how the institution has performed in the different parameters set by the NIRF. JNTU has given its best in teaching, learning and resources with a score of 71.2%. The research and professional practices has a score of 28.65%, while graduation outcome has a score of 55.02%. The outreach and inclusivity has a score of 49.63%, and the perception from the public has a score of 12.14%. Including all these, JNTU has an overall NIRF score of 47.13% and has moved down to the 45th rank in the NIRF table. JNTU is located in Kukatpalli, Hyderabad. The nearest railway station is the Nampalli railway station which is 16.5 km away and the nearest airport with international connectivity is the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport which is 40 km away. JNTU's campus spreads over 89 acres and proves itself to be one of the self-contained campuses with a variety of amenities for the students' welfare. The university has high-speed internet connectivity throughout its campus and has high-quality labs in every department. The well-equipped library of JNTU serves as a knowledge source for all the students and research scholars along with the teaching staff of the institute. The library consists of over 1.2 lakh books, back volumes, e-journals, databases and so much more. In addition to the large collection of books, the library keeps adding new books each year. The institute provides best-in-class hostels for both boys and girls. The hostels are equipped with a TV hall, dining hall, gymnasium, computer room and reading rooms. The canteens provide hygienic food at reasonable rates to cater to the needs of staff, students and visitors of the university. The university extensively promotes sports and games and encourages the students to participate in various events both inside and outside the college. JNTU has facilities for cricket, football, basketball, throwball, table tennis, badminton, coco, carom, chess and so on. Admissions to the BTEC programs are based on a candidate score which they've secured in the Engineering, Agriculture and Medicine Common Entrance Test or the EAMCET conducted by the Telangana State Council of Higher Education, Hyderabad. Admissions to the MTEC programs are based on the GATE score or the PGECET ranking also conducted by the Telangana State Council of Higher Education, Hyderabad. JNTU offers 24 UG and 64 PG engineering programs. JNTU has an approved intake of 1,244 UG and 688 PG seats. The total number of students pursuing their engineering degrees is 6,265, out of which 56.36% are boys and 43.64% are girls. The institute has 5,935 students from Telangana, 185 students from other parts of the country and 145 students from abroad. Also, there are 81 full-time and 1,471 part-time students pursuing their PhD here. 
And in the last year, five full-time and 354 part-time students graduated with a doctorate. JNTU consistently maintains its UG graduation percentage while the PG graduation has shown a slight drop. The UG graduation is consistently maintained at 88.28% across the years. Among these graduates, 25.02% of the students chose to study further. The PG graduation, however, has dipped down to 68.63% and 24.9% of the graduates decided to go for higher education. The university has shown improvement in both its UG and PG placements. The UG placements have improved to 75.98%. A total of 674 students were placed with a median salary package of 4.98 lakhs per annum. The PG placements have also shown an improvement. A total of 237 students were placed with a placement percentage of 59.1%. The median salary package offered here was 6.6 .6 lakhs per annum. Various companies show interest in hiring students from JNTU. Among them, some of the leading recruiters include Zoho, Oracle, Honeywell, Mu Sigma, Wipro, TCS, Sapient, Ashok Leland, Google, MRF and many many others. JNTU has an energetic faculty team who deliver high-quality education with practical knowledge. The university has 444 faculty members, out of which 42.56% hold a doctorate. Comprising of all the faculty members, the institution has one faculty member for every 14 students. JNTU continues to focus more on research programs and need-based technology. Accordingly, an independent R&D cell has been established to promote and monitor research programs within the university. When it comes to patents, the university has improved the number of patents published to a count of four. However, the number of patents granted has reduced to one. As a result of the research programs, the institute has received over 31 crores as sponsored research funds and over 14 crores as consultancy project funds. A good amount has been spent efficiently on capital and operational expenditure for the overall development of the university. Over 207 crores was spent as capital expenditure, of which 92.69% was spent on the creation of capital assets. As operational expenditure, over 224 crores was spent, a huge portion of which was spent on the maintenance of the academic infrastructure. Spurti is the annual techno-cultural symposium conducted by the Department of ECE. Spurti offers a platform for students to compete with their peers from all over the state in various events that test their knowledge in a particular domain. Just like this, other departments also organize various symposiums and cultural events. Regular conferences, guest lectures are also conducted to enrich the minds of the students. All these facts clearly show the overall performance of the university. The institution consistently maintains its graduation at a good pace. The improvements in placements also look promising and we could expect drastic changes in the coming years. The supportive faculty members guide the students through all phases of learning which adds to the strength of the university. Though the institution takes part in various research programs, it needs to improve in order to meet the standards of its peers. With all these exciting stats and with a mission to provide a form of education that allows students to learn and acquire knowledge for the betterment of the nation, JNTU proves to be one of the finest universities in South India. What other interesting college reviews would you like to see? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and for more information visit collegesuggest.com.